Hey everybody, my name is Jim and this is Twisted Goat FPV. This is actually the kickoff video for my YouTube channel and uh, let me tell you a little bit about what I've got going on and what I've had going on. I'm 48 years old, I live in North Georgia and I've been up here five years, moved from north side of Atlanta. But about 10 years ago, my RC addiction started. I uh, got me, It started with the Traxxas Bandit and I went and got it at Hobby Town. I took it home and put a battery in it, got it down the street, I squeezed that trigger and I'll never forget how it shot across the street straight into a storm drain and all I heard was a kersploosh. And I got it out, dried it off and been in love with the hobby ever since. Um, I got in RC trucks off the bat for a long time, went way overboard, my wife shook her head. And uh, I tried to get my friends sucked into it, you know, get them to jump down the rabbit hole with me. And I just couldn't do it. And I got bored. I built nice rigs, but you know, it ain't no fun doing it all by yourself. So, uh, sold all my trucks and I got into boats. And man, I love boats. <clears throat> and before I knew it, I was building them from the hull up. Just uh, building some beautiful boats, man, fast. But same, same, couldn't get nobody to jump down the rabbit hole with me. So, uh, sold all my boats and I got into fixed wing. And there I found a little community. We had a real nice fly field a uh, mile or two from the house and uh, really got into it. We're starting to get into 3D and this is down when we were on the north side of Atlanta. We moved up here to North Georgia and I ended up in the woods. And tough time flying planes in the woods. And there's fly fields 30 miles away and couldn't find nobody into it so I sold all my airplanes and I got into amateur radio and let me tell you very boring hobby just wasn't for me but I did get my ham radio operator's license which now I got in my back pocket just in case anybody wants to complain but uh, that didn't take long I sold all my radio gear and I got back into RC land with trucks. I got me uh, Arma Creighton. And uh, before I knew it, I found a local racetrack. And I raced short course for a season and a half. And it was all right. But uh, I just, I sold all my gear over this last winter. And I just uh, didn't know what I was going to do. One night I was laying in bed and I... I have not heard of FPV freestyle or racing or anything at this point. I just told my wife, I was like, I want to know what it feels like to fly. I want to know what a bird knows. And she just shook, shook her head. She's like, how are you going to do that? And I said, well, I'll get me a drone. And so I got me a SEMA X5C1, little $25 toy drone. And as soon as I lift it off the ground, man, I fell in love. Didn't know how I was going to get that bird's eye view yet, but I knew I wanted to fly. And uh, so then I played with that for a week or two, and the next thing I know, I ordered me up the Parrot Bebop with the FPV bundle. And uh, man, I was really stoked. And I threw that phone in the goggles and got it off the ground, and man, I knew I'd found what I was looking for, but I knew there was better. And so, uh, next thing I know, my wife's like, what are you doing on on the internet? I said, I'm looking for a frame. And she didn't think nothing of it. I built my first quad. And uh, I got a, Ox FPV makes this Thug 230H frame. It isn't the lightest. But it is very durable. And, uh, man, I built that. I got the practice in and got on the sim. And, uh, short story short, I, I built up my first quad, my first FPV quad. And, uh, 
best thing I ever did. I loved to build. I learned a lot. Um, the way I did it so that the wife wouldn't get too upset is, or my frame first, I'll say, just find a frame you like. And I, Ox FPV, they're out of Alpharetta, Georgia, so it's a local company. And uh, so I heard this from, I was like, man, that looks like I could really beat the hell out of it, which I have. But uh, so I ordered it, and I don't know nothing about electronics. I don't, I'm just lost. My mind's like pudding right now. But um, I got the frame, and then uh, I figured out what motors I need, because I know what motors do. And then uh, I had to go from there. I ordered my ESCs. I figured I'd order one thing a week, and I'd study that thing for a week, and then I'd order my next part, you know. So I did the ESCs, and then I, I went with a Maytec um, F405 STD with the FC Hub VTX. Man, I love their, their stuff. I mean, it's only my first setup, but uh, very easy, and it's controlled by a ribbon cable, a lot less soldering. But, um... Yeah, so I built this up and started practicing on the sim and I get out in, in my little area out here out front of the house and try to start flying acro because I picked up some bad habits with all the stabilization GPS and uh, man, I started practicing out in the yard and trying to figure everything out. Let me tell you. I have no idea about any of this electronic stuff. I've researched and researched. I know y'all know what I'm talking about because, uh, man, it, it was something else. But anyways, I'm getting along here. So uh, I just flew my first battery in Acro FPV yesterday. And I went and flew four more today. And I am in love with this hobby. Um, the community... Holy cow, and that's what I like, because there, there are so many of us out there, and uh, man, just the whole aspect of it is awesome. So, I had had my uh, drone and my radio, I fly the QX7, but like I said, I didn't know any of these pilots or anything, and I come across like Steel and uh, Lexi, me on high, and... Um, a few of the other ones, I mean, there's just so many out there just flying outrageous stuff. And I was like, that's awesome, man. But everybody's got cool FPV names, so I was like, I need me a cool FPV name. And uh, I, I own goats, so somehow I, come in up, I came up with Twisted Goat FPV. And I happen to know a few tattoo artists. So I got one of them working on some artwork for me, man. I'm thinking a couple t-shirts, some stickers. It don't matter. I'm just having a blast, you know. So I've, I actually next come across um, a post on Facebook that said, looking for reviewers, drone reviewers. And I'm like, all right. Send them off an a email. And they wrote me back. They're like, hey. Um, good hearing from you. Why don't you send us uh, the link to your YouTube channel and uh, your Amazon reviews. And I had to tell them, look, I don't have no, no YouTube channel, but I will get one going. I said, I buy a crap load of stuff on Amazon, but I just don't do no reviews. And I said, yeah, please just understand I'm, I'm new to all this, but I'm learning. And if you're willing to give me a shot. I'll do the best I can for you. They shot me back in their email and said, all right, we'll send you a couple things and see how it goes. So I had to get me a YouTube channel together. So here we are kicking it off. Um, actually, they sent me some LiPo bags to review and a balance charger. So uh, we'll see how that works. And I'll have some videos on that uh, on my channel here in a few days. Um, I love giveaways, and so I have something in the works. Um, I'm going to give something away here in the next week or two. You know, get the people to subscribe to your YouTube channel, and then the subscribers, I'm going to give something away. And I'm not even going to say what it is yet, 
But I can promise you with all my heart that this is a one and, one and only something that you'll be able to put in your drone office, your drone work area, and I can guarantee you that as of right now, no other pilot in the world has this, and it's bad ass. So just keep your eyes out, and this that'll be coming up here in a week or two. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to welcome everybody and uh, kind of tell you what I got going on. Like I said, my mind's pudding right now. I'm so wore out, and now I got to figure out how to use a video editor after everything else my mind's been through. So as soon as I can figure that out, I'll have this video put up. And I'll probably throw in a couple little flight videos of my first couple FPV experiences that I think went fairly well. I still got my drone and I only bent one prop, so we get in there. But anyways, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's bothered to hang through this whole video. And uh, I look forward to posting all my content, man. I'm having so much fun with this. It's just unreal. But uh, I'm going to cut this short. And uh, thank you for watching. Now I'm some flight video.